Hey there, I'm Riley Pardell, and today I'm here to talk to you about a rare, rare case and very serious case called Pardellino Syndrome. You see this friend of mine, not me, I don't have it, a friend of mine has it, and it's where you get a rash on your back, and whenever you scratch the rash and your back it gets really itchy on hot days, it starts to bleed, and it feels like spiders are running down your back, right? So you wipe away the spiders, and once you wipe away the spiders and take your hand back, you know it's you got blood on your hands, you're like, oh my gosh, how did this get here? There's blood on my hands. So then, then you go to a cult, your nearest cult around you, and then you join the cult, and then slowly you work your way up to become the leader of said cult, and one day, boom, and once you become the leader of that cult, you somehow gain the power to summon a demon. And that, when that demon gets summoned, he challenges you to a fiddle duel for a golden fiddle. But, of course, you say yes, because when do you ever have a chance to get a golden fiddle? But then you notice, you think to yourself, hmm, I have no idea how to play a fiddle. But it's already too late, he's challenged, and you have no idea what to do. So then you end up losing the duel. And then he takes your soul, and you have nothing else to do. You go back to your mom, and she no longer loves you because you no longer have a soul. And then you go to the doctor because you're mad. My mom no longer loves me. I may as well go see the doctor. So then you go to the doctor, right? The doctor says, oh my gosh, how did this rash appear? And you're like, I don't know. It just came up one day. And he says, maybe it's because you wear 13 shirts a day. That's an irregularly amount of shirts to wear. And you're like, hmm, how many shirts should I wear in a day? And you ask the doctor. And he says, well, you should really only be wearing maybe two shirts a day and at most a shirt and a sweater. Never a shirt, a jacket, and a sweater. You're like, hmm, that's a little weird. I've always been wearing 13 shirts my whole life. How is that possible? I only get a rash now. So it gives you this ointment to go home and you start drinking the ointment and think that'll work. But then really, it just makes you even more sick and you start puking up the ointment and you're like, oh my gosh, this doctor's a quack. How does this ever happen? And then you look at the ointment and it says, do not drink, only apply on back. And you're like, oh, that makes more sense. So you apply the lotion on your back and the rash starts to go away, but you still no longer have a soul. So then down the line, you start to think to yourself, man, when I die, I'm going to hell. And then you say, I don't want that to happen. So you contact that demon not that stole your soul. And really, he doesn't want your soul anymore because he knows how lame your life was. So he decides to give the soul back to you. So you go back to your mother and tell her you have a soul again, but she no longer says, I don't want you as a son because you already sold your soul once. Why would you not sell it again? And then one day you notice the rash is coming back, probably because you're wearing 15 shirts instead of 13 shirts because you think more is better, right? And then after you get the rash again, the whole process starts all over again and it starts to bleed, the spiders, the demons, the cults, the mom no longer loves you, the demon buys your soul again, sells it back to you, and it all starts over again. And that's Pardellino Syndrome. I don't have it. A friend does. I would never be that dumb to do that. My friend is dumb, not me. A friend. A friend of a friend of a friend, actually. It's no, not tied to me, whatever. My last name and the name of the syndrome have nothing to do with each other. It's just a one big coincidence. I have a friend who has this syndrome. I am not the face of this syndrome because I'm the only dumb one that would ever do this. Because I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I do smart things like get a degree and go to work. I don't scratch my back so much it bleeds. So that's why I need your guys' help to help my friend, not me, not me, my friend, get over this syndrome. My back is starting to get really itchy for some reason. It has nothing to do with this syndrome. And oh. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna believe in you guys now. Guys, it started to bleed again. It started to bleed. Guys, someone please send help. It started to bleed. I can't go through this again.